So, yep. so pig-headed guy burst out, shook the cage. Yep. And uh, the bird goes, la, la, la. Yep. The pig-headed guy goes, hmm. And he's getting ready to go back in. Uh, excuse me, sir. <laughs> oh, sorry. Did you have a ship that, what the fuck are you? He's Australian. Oh, well, I knew that. All right. <laughs> Do you have a ship that you brought in or something that you need to get no. through customs? I was just curious. I was wondering... Um, la, 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 says Ahoy. Interested in buying, purchasing that uh, bird off you? I would never sell this bird. I hate it too much for that. La, 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 says the bird. Five There's dollars? No, ha, there is no amount you can say that would make me ever give up this bird. Ten dollars. He begins to look tempted, but uh, he says, no, no, I'd rather keep it and torture it. My final offer, this shiny gold coin. Done. <laughs> <laughs> the the other guy, the, the, the guy's like, oh, you've got so real. Australians are stupid. <laughs> 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 la, 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 says I. I shall take my new possession and wander uh, off. No problem. Uh, yeah, he, he doesn't give a shit about the cage. He doesn't need the cage if he's getting rid of the nope. bird. And he goes, fuck you, ahoy. La, 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 bitch, says ahoy. And <laughs> you carry it away. He, he so so, much, so what is your actual name? Uh well, ahoy, but uh, my my old master used to call me the, the word. Yes. Would you prefer ahoy or the word? Uh, either either way. I mean, it's better than what this, this guy used to call me. He used to call me the horrible old fucker. Mm. Yeah. So who... who you're an Australian, then. That's right. It cocks its head at you in a very bird-like manner. <laughs> it says, okay. You... Vex, Vex told me about you, so. Oh, Vex. Oh, that poor bastard. I, every time I think I've got it rough, I see him shivering his ass. Mm -hmm. What a nice guy. So did you, did you know Roswell, Roswell Pell? I'm um, your old owner. Mm, yes. No, no, I did not, unfortunately. Sounds like he would have been an interesting person to know, though. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What happened to him? He died. He died. Old age or? Yeah. Mm. He looks around uh, and he, he, he seems to. Give me a empathy at negative ten because you don't have avian empathy, or you try avian empathy at <laughs> fucking learn if you want to make that. That will impress the fuck out of me. I yeah, and no, I I'd rolled for okay already rolled for empathy when you'd started saying all right. If I do make empathy at negative ten, you think that the bird may be afraid of the open sky that you've got him under now. <laughs> <laughs> he's a bit he's looking a bit neurotic he's like eh. he's kind of crouching away you think that your bird may have mental problems <laughs> I shall get a bit of cloth to drape over the cage he relaxes oh my god he said I keep thinking the whole thing's going to come down on me it's been it's been that long since you've been Three, has it? I don't remember ever being free. I mean, you know, I've always I, I'm I'm an indoor bird. He says, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, what sort of species are you? Nah, do I look like a bird of bird scientist? We might Perhaps know scientist. your nationality. You might know your race. I'm Australian. He says, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's it. Okay. My newspaper my newspapers need changing too. <laughs> we, should, we, should, we shall get on to that. 
Yeah. And what, what what do you like eating, by the way? I need. To, I should pick up some food for you. Um, yeah, you you work out his feeding arrangements and shit like that. If you had a place, this would be a big help right about now. Actually, you've got enough money to probably buy your own building if you really felt like it. But yes, yeah. So well, that that that's a few few more steps along the way is getting a location to set up base. Just so you know, carrying around this big fucking cage, total pain in the ass. Better. Oh, um, it is really big, is it? I've, I was picturing uh -huh. the old, you know, the old thing that now that yeah. sort of thing with him inside it. Well, no, because in addition to being agoraphobic, he's also claustrophobic. <laughs> so how, how big? Screaming. How big is he? How big is he? He's fucking tiny. He's a little cuckoo bird. Yeah, that's why I thought he was tiny. But, but he's, he's got in a really big cage because he's claustrophobic and agoraphobic. Well, at least he's got a little bit of room to fly around. Yes, he has a lot of mental problems, apparently. He's been abused for ages. So we've got Chris partway there. You've given him the link? Yep, I'll do it again in uh, uh, thingy. Yeah, so, and, and yeah, I'll pick up. I'll pick up a newspaper as well anyway to read because I want to. Okay. Yeah, it's yesterday's newspaper, so there's not a lot going on as far as local news. Oh, that's that's right. I was just get a feel yeah. what, what they cover and yeah. if they have any, what, what events are going on and if they've got anything about going on in the world. Pretty much the main, the main thing that seems to be going on is uh, people are super nervous about the elves uh, because – the elves have been getting uppity. Uh, what what kind of skills do you have that would allow you to read between the lines and to? Uh, I mean, things like well, besides research, um, uh, research is more going out and getting bricks. Uh, to which yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but in well, evidence analysis. But um, mm -hmm. I don't know what sort of skill would. Yeah, I'm not sure. What's interpret? Yeah, you know, reading between the lines of a of a newspaper article or whatever. I don't know what skill that would be. Mm. Nothing. Yeah, nothing springing to mind as to what would potentially be appropriate. As you turn your eyes away from the blue lagoon, the blue haired goon comes into focus. Now. Um, <laughs> the, <laughs> the guards uh, bring him to you, and they go. We found another Australian that was supposed to be with you, but he was accidentally misplaced. So now you two Australians can stick together. There's some uh, dog-headed guy that goes, these are Australians, not elves. And people are like, um, okay. was, was he given paperwork as well? No. He never met the princess. So they recommend uh, that he stick close to you. Hey. Welcome. All of your weapons and shit, Chris, are given to um, uh, Joshua McKay. And the guard goes, another job well done. And the rhino-headed guard march off. All right. Oh, Chris. Yes. Uh, uh, Pete brought up a good point. Roll 2d6 San uh, game for various good guy heroic shit, including the merciless beating up for an entire half a night of a werewolf, just mercilessly pounding him, made you feel better inside. I like but, it. Mm -hmm. And also cutting the head off Mr. Tombs. Holy Oh, fuck. nice. Holy I wish I, could, wish I had rolled that well with my Sangain. Chris is Mr. Hot Dice. We call him Hot Dice. Oh yeah. Uh, when you when you uh, when you join Joshua McKay, uh, you're at the docks, Chris, and uh, he's got a little fucking bird. It's a cuckoo bird, if you know what those look like. If not, there's a picture of one in the roll file in a cage, and the cage is fucking huge, and he's carrying it around with great difficulty, kind of like a guy carrying a bale of hay. I think it's a really big, it's a fucking big cage, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and the the bird is uh, eyeing you and going, another Australian, huh? So he's got a talking bird in the cage. 
And there's also a herald going around telling pretty much everybody you come across that uh, you're both Australians, not elves. And also McKay seems to have picked up new weapons and shit like that from somewhere. Okay. Like pistol, rifle, and a Bowie knife. He's changed up his bent knife for a straight knife, apparently. Mm. No more Yakesha, huh? Could you move your mic just a little further away from here? There you go. Try that. Try it now. No more Yakesha, oh, no. huh? It's in. It's at a knife maker. Seeing if he can reproduce it, a good quality mm. version. So. Hey, friend. You have a spare Yakesha? <laughs> Do you know what that's from, Pete? No idea. No idea. Oh, that's the, old day, that's the old days of EverQuest, my friend. Played EverQuest 2 off and on, but um, not EverQuest. EverQuest was the... the uh, it, it was like being slowly serial raped. But mm. loved it. We, uh, yeah. Serial. Mm-hmm. So basically, we're in the country of Genovia. No, no, the... Genovia is the old country. Oh, I'm yeah, sorry. I thought this was no. part. I thought the country of Lioness was part of the kingdom of Genovia. It is. That's the old country. All that's the old country. This is this is the new country. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, sorry, yep. Yeah. Kingdom of Genovia, country of Lioness. Those um, are the ones overseas. Not yeah, here. yeah. Um, they don't they don't have a library in this place, so I haven't been able to go and have a look at any maps or an atlas or a globe or anything to work out what's going on. Um, I, I, with the newspaper, I would take a evidence analysis role. Uh, definitely at half as they're very pro furry. Mm. Pete. Yep. Pete who read the newspaper. Yes. Yes. Evidence analysis. The Hoy goes, I really can't wait to shit on that paper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, shit all the over. The anthropomorphics uh, tend to be technology-based, but you've got goblins and elves and other weird races that are... Hey, use magic. hey, hey, says Ahoy. I am not a weird race there, Mr. Australian. As as well as um, various animals that also seem to know magic, such as the word here and uh -huh. the bird, a uh, fire sal salamander by the name of Vex. Vex is good, but he's cold, poor guy. Yes, who who we've gotten a quest off. You got a quest off him? Wow. Yep. Yeah. He must like Australians. We find him if we can find him clothes that don't burn to help warm him clothes. keep warm. He'll give us something. Really. What's he gonna give you? No he idea. Have anything. Maybe he does. He's got maybe he's got a secret or something. Oh. Who knows? You don't even he's... have a house, do you? Are we just gonna wander around? No, no, no. We're going. We're staying at a friend's place tonight. Chris, you notice every now and then the bird looks out from under the uh, uh, handkerchief that's covering the just the top part of the cage and shudders. Why are you shuddering? I'm not. He's agoraphobic. Oh, I'm not. This cage is just shrinking in on me. <laughs> it's a big, great grand world out here <laughs> he goes and hops to the middle of the cage and just sits there according to Vic the word knows some magic which is why I picked him up you picked me up just for my magic not my singing voice well I haven't heard you sing without you being la 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 oh Jesus yeah it's good huh yeah. Nah, la, 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 la. <laughs> so, Mr. Herald. Yes, be... Mr. Australian, he says. He poses will dramatically. Be... Will you be escorting us for half a day tomorrow as well? 
if you want me to, I... I thought it was for a day, so... Uh, I've only done half a day today, so therefore oh. it should really be half a day tomorrow to be the day. Uh, sure. Right. I can do that. Uh, yeah. Yes. Plus, uh, you're going to be in the newspaper tomorrow. That will yes. help. Okay. Yes, it will. Great. And I've met... Do you and... want... Am I done Sorry. with today? Or are you going? Uh, do you have a home? Where do you live? Where do I, do Australians go underground at night? No, 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 no. Um, you were taking us to Simon's home. Oh, right. Simon's place, remember? Sorry, I forgot. He takes you, he begins walking uh, uh, from the docks to the downtown to the shitty area. Just so you know. So, Doc, there's a Neva Cooper in this world as well, I discovered, when she went to interview me. Hmm. Which was a bit disturbing. Interesting. Are yes. you going to take that old newspaper out and put the new newspaper in? Once I get to a location that I can put the cage down, etc., yes. Okay. I'm going to shit on the old newspaper. Why not? Can I get some privacy? <laughs> Stop looking at me. Stop it. Uh. <laughs> I can't do it. Australians make it so I can't shit. Oh. Well. Oh, there it goes. You guys eventually reach a town. Pretty much, it's in the shitty, smelly area. It's as far outside as they can get <laughs> while still being within barrage range. Mm -hmm. It's like a little mini fortress. Um, imagine a American home size and put walls around it and shit. And it has a basement, which the cage people are assembling the cage in. And uh, he's also, he's got our people working on soundproofing parts of the house for some reason. Ah, I was wondering about that aspect of it. Mm-hmm. Well, it's a burden staying up all night, three nights a fucking month, to beat the fuck out of him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, well, I knew what the cage was for. I was curious as to the whole howling and growling situation. Mm-hmm. They don't have a cure for lycanthropy? Mm, you haven't asked. And there are other people wandering around. So. Yeah, yeah. I was waiting for... Waiting. Yeah, haven't haven't had a chance to have some privacy with Simon to discuss matters. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll say working. goodbye to the Herald. I'll come here tomorrow morning. Yes, thank you. He wanders off. Australians are among us. He says. <laughs> um. Basically, the. The crown princess turned up unexpectedly to this um, town. Three royal ships turned up in the harbour, and she royal possession. She saw me, was interested with me, so went and had lunch. Or yeah, went and had lunch with them, and she was fascinated by me. So she gave me some money and weapons, and some papers, and that's why the heralds following us around. Mm. Tell, so them which role made you, tell them which role made you the most money, Pete. The storytelling role. Hmm. I see. Australia, so Australia, she, Australia. She she gave me a thousand dollars, some weapons which have got the royal seal on it, a piece of paper with the royal seal on it, saying that you know I'm a good guy, good stand up guy, basically, and as well as a thing to say I'm allowed to carry weapons in defense of this town or defense of the country or whatever. But yeah. 
Um, haven't really been able to find much about this place as yet. Without, so, which I'm hoping we'll be able to pump Simon for a bit more information and tomorrow maybe visit a school or something, which is why I wanted to herald for tomorrow. And then we can do a pretend, do a and a with the class or something as a way of getting information. I, I, what and what? Says I. Question and answer. Well, unless you know much about history and stuff. The word? Uh, Have a little globe in there of the world or something? A map of the world in there? Oh, no, I don't... I, I don't have any maps in my cage, but, you know, if you put some in, I guess. But um, I can tell you some things. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's go to a private room and stuff. This is not yes. for non-Australians. Yes. I'll ask Simon if there's a room we can make use of. Not only does he do that, he makes sure to get you guys. He has the maids and stuff make you up a... Uh, uh, a room each. They're they're kind of on the smaller side, but they're still pretty generous rooms. So, so he's he's okay. So he's wealthy enough. He's got servants and stuff. Anybody can afford a five hundred dollar cage and shit. I mean, that's that's like yeah, two, yeah, yeah. I knew. I thought that was a couple years of work. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was quite a lot of money, but yeah. So I was just wasn't too mm -hmm. sure if. Also, he's true. getting his other people. Um, he's coordinating a lot of shit. This guy is a bit more impressive than you thought because he's uh, coordinating. He's sending out miners who are all badgers. And he, he's like, okay, we need to do this and this and this. And, oh, my God, let me put you up in the room. And then he goes over and he's, he basically you've got a couple rooms and then there's like the library. And he, he's, he tells the maids who are completely freaked out by you that, that you guys are not elves, you're Australians. And you've got a royal seal. Show them the royal seal. The maids can't read, so they're very impressed. They see the big flashy royal seal at the bottom, and they're like, ooh. Um, but, yeah, they, he tells anything they want to eat, drink, all that stuff, take care of them. Otherwise, leave them alone. They've got things to talk about. What do we do with the bird? Whatever they want done with the bird, you do it with the bird. Uh I want my newspaper changed, says the bird. You don't get a vote in this, Mr. Bird, unless he says you do. Right. So I got to get back to work. I'm, yes. Do you need anything else? Not at the moment. Thank you. No problem. Doc, we'll talk, you we'll talk any, soon. Do you want a drink or food or anything? I don't know what, how you got treated. Who are you talking to? I'm fine. Mm. Bird's like, I want some food. No, I need a newspaper. This one stinks like I shit on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm changing <laughs> newspaper for you. Yay. He watches very, very closely as you do it. <laughs> right. After everybody's left, you guys have gotten fed and stuff. Chris, they have weird fucking food here. It appears that lizard is, and reptilian meat is the mainstay. Huh. Okay. Both the carnivores and the herbivores eat meat and veg. Mm. As in the things that we would consider carnivores and herbivores. From what I witnessed at dinner, at lunch. Oh, he seems much more relaxed in the house. All right. The word, what can you tell us? Okay. Okay. A long time ago, because I used to live in Leoness and the uh, Kingdom of Genovia and stuff, but a long time ago, the they, they, they furred people came here. They call themselves like beastkin. They came here. There was elves. And at first, they, the, the beastkin were like, oh, hello, we're your friends. And the elves were like, fuck you, get off our land. And then the beastkin said, we have big boom cannon. And the elves went, ah, and ran out. Because iron's like poison to them, right? And they... they uh, then they were like, oh, don't bring in more iron. The beast can make cities and stuff. And then the elves are like, ah, oh, you suck. And then the beast can went, and the elves were like, ah. And then uh, it looked like they were going to use war because the elves are all necromancers and have a lot of undead and stuff. And then the, the beast can say, okay, we'll stop, we'll stop breaking iron and stuff. But then I kept doing it and they kept digging it up. And then I can know about this because my lizard buddy, he comes by sometimes and tells me, but then he has to go back home because he has no fucking sweater. He needs a sweater. 
Do we keep him too? No, he's probably too valuable. But anyway, wizard got to earn a living. So the elves are really mad because they're digging up the iron and stuff, and they so uh, they're, they're, things are going bad with the elves and stuff. But they got an embassy. They, everybody everybody doesn't like the elves and they're very suspicious of them because they've been taking their land and the elves are really pissed about this because they were here first and stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's what's going on. Mm -hmm. right, I don't know why you guys ever go outside. All right. So from your dealings with Roswell and from your own knowledge. Can you open the cage door? I want to get out of the cage for a while. Yeah, if you want. Okay. Basically, he's he's okay inside. He's hopping mm -hmm. around or flopping around. But that, that's why I opened the cage because I even if there was an open window, he, mm -hmm. I, yeah, he wouldn't be flying out. He freaked out by it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's like, call, call the curtain, call the curtain. If if you need to go to the toilet, in please the go back in the cage. In the cage. No, no. As long as you keep yep. changing the newspaper every day, I'll go on the cage. Yep. But if you don't, I shit on your pillow. <laughs> wow, la, 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 stop singing. Stop singing. Oh, my. He's hopping around and he, he kind of twitches now and then like, oh, stop beating me. Mm -hmm. Um. So are you aware of other worlds, gates between worlds, things like that? Yes, I am. No, no, sorry. I was talking to you <laughs> the word. Oh, okay. I, I know you are Doc because that's how we. Got <laughs> I was going to say, what? Yes, I thought you guys were from Australia. Yes, but not. We're from Australia, from a different place. Oh, uh, I don't know. I've heard. I've heard that there may be other worlds and stuff. Maybe that's where the bugs come from. I don't know. The bugs got a special name. I can't remember it. It's really long. It's got an I in it or something. They said there is no I in team. But there isn't the bug thing. As in, like, but, what, insects or something? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like that, but it's longer and harder. Um, yeah, like my cloaca. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. Uh, what? All right, so Roswell didn't create portals, didn't create gates or anything? No, no, he was an air mage, air mage, air mage. Yeah. I always said he was full of hot air until he wasn't. The bird looks sad. So was what nationality was he? He was he Genovian? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well they, they, okay. they don't normally they don't normally have wizards and stuff, but um yeah. sometimes if, if somebody doesn't deal with technology he didn't even have a he, he, the the thing to make the fire, he didn't have the rocks. He didn't he didn't bang the rocks. Okay. <laughs> oh, why is Matt not here? <laughs> uh, give me avian psychology rolls, please. <laughs> Can I roll regular psychology at a negative? I want to avian psychology. I'm seeing if you get a new skill and a check and learn. Yes. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> well done, sir. What the fuck is up with these dice? Um, you're a horrible man. All right. Uh, the your guess based on a brief conversation is the bird has several neuroses, possibly brought on by uh, loneliness, abandonment issues, abuse. You think that he has monophobia, agoraphobia, claustrophobia, and um, attachment issues and stuff. Okay. But he's scared of being left alone. <clears throat> you suspect that if there's any violence, he'll be the first to go. Being that he's smaller than your clenched fist. so. But he is hard to hit, so he gets a bonus to that. But um, yeah, he seems very sad about the uh, the air mage guy that he mentions from time to time. Anytime that that happens, his, his little face is sad. Okay. Which is really hard to detect, being that he has no lips and shit like that. 
but apparently you're a fucking avian psychologist. What a neat thing to put on your fucking door of your business. Avian psychologist, uh, Dr. James Fulton. <laughs> your bird is sad. Next. Your bird's happy. Stop feeding him so much. He's fat. Next. Would not surprise me if they exist. In California, probably as well, because they have pet psychologists there. Mm -hmm. Your dog is depressed. Fuck off. It's a dog. Play catch. Take it for a ride. Done. You hear heavy construction going on downstairs. Um, listen rolls for random snippets of conversation as um, your host attempts not to continue being a shit host and uh, get to all these guys going and stuff. So you can come pay attention to you again. Anyone? Anyone? Nope. Cool. There's a lot of noise going on in the house, sawing and, you know, uh, hammering and all those normal things. The sounds appear to be bothering Ahoy. Oh, also, Chris, you notice whenever he gets nervous or antsy or whatever, he goes, la, 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 like that. For some reason. Hmm. Um, okay. So there's some weird, well, not really weird stuff going on, but mix of races and stuff in this world. Mm -hmm. Oh, Chris, with your avian psychology, you're thinking that uh, the bird may try to share more and open up more when he gets into a, a more stable environment because, you know, being carried around in his cage freaks him the fuck out. And apparently he's just discovered the guy who bought him does not own a home. And so he's feeling a lot of anxiety. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Um, have a look at the books in the library we're in. Excellent. There are three. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, medieval style libraries. I have three books. Oh, Christ. Uh, yes. Uh, one is on um, uh, mining in general. Uh, one is uh, the, the illustrated history of Genovia. Genovia. And, uh, one is um, uh, Legends of the Americas. Lovely. Mm -hmm. I'll have a look at the illustrated history of Genovia. Lots of cool pictures. Apparently the lion family is the king of the jungle in Genovia, even though it's not a jungle. It's, it's very much a medieval-type kingdom uh, before King John got hoodwinked and signed away all of his rights and shit like that and became a figurehead, etc. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's got a long and varied and detailed history that uh, you get a check-in Genovian history from perusing the book. Okay. Is there any maps or anything in there that's part oh, of the yeah. history showing yeah. the shaping of the world? Yes, absolutely. Uh, there's a lot of little countries and stuff, and most of the content is uh, labeled uh, future project for Logan to work on it, should the players ever stumble into it, you know, type thing. So but yes, the general shape of the world is the same as our world? Uh, no, they, they haven't actually discovered that much of the world. Um, Basically, you just have the continent of Genovia, which is not going to look like any continent you're familiar with. Okay, so, so it doesn't look like Europe or 
England. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, at least you're not going to have to wage a land war in Asia, you think, to yourself. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm. Chris, you're being okay. rather quiet. I'm soaking in. It's a lot of new stuff. I've, I've, and I've only touched, I've only given you a very small thing of the info dump I've had. <laughs> there was like half an hour of info dump. Plus, as I was walking through the town. Yeah, he had a lot. So, yeah. Anyway, um... Yeah, so I've seen there got this fire salamander. Well, I've seen one. There's possibly more that work in the smelters, basically helping to make the smelters hotter and save on fuel. And it talks. So I had a conversation with it, and the fire. Uh, does it talk? Sometimes it won't shut up, but the cold's the only thing that keeps it shut. Uh, um, yeah. Stuff. And he was the one that told told me about the bird, the word, I should say. I see. Um, yeah, interesting place. Like the buildings are a mix between, like you've got some stone buildings, but most of it's wooden. The main road's cobbled. They're starting to do the side streets. Looks like they've got... Potentially got some sewers or something. They've got um, metal grills with a thing running down the middle of the road. So, the docks are a mix of clippers and steamships. Well, what, are, what other kind of ships are you going to have? My Lady Rittenhouse's spare urn. So who is Lady Rittenhouse? What? Even I know about Lady Rittenhouse. She's a famous gunfighter lady. What? La, 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 la. Famous for what? She's a gunfighter. She fights injustice. Mm -hmm. And where does she reside? Uh, she moves around and stuff, but mostly uh, she's in... Uh, I don't know, she's a long way away, but still on this continent somewhere. But she's always moving around. We sometimes hear about her. She's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Okay. And who's, what about McKinnon? McKinnon. McKinnon. Uh, 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 I think he's Find the McKinnon's judge. McKinnon's Black Pistol yes. is the reference. Oh, uh, Judge McKinnon. Oh, yeah. Very fair minded judge and stuff by the Queen's fur, he is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, give me a evidence analysis there, uh, Mr. McKay. Is this, and is this the local paper that the bird was talking about? I pick up the paper that he was talking about. My floor, screams the bird. <laughs> you take it out. <laughs> it hasn't gotten dumped on you, but it's it was in, he put the newspaper under in the cage. So you take it out and the bird's like, my floor, my beautiful floor. I'll put it back. I'll put it back. I read the paper. What if I have to take it, it off? Back. What if I have you to take it, it off? Hold it. Ah. Hold it. It's doing it because la, 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 la. <laughs> oh, this bird's just a bundle of neuroses. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, Oh, Pete, did you make your evidence analysis roll? Uh, no. Okay. You don't know what the fuck's going on, these weird fuckers. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Annoying muzzies. Mm -hmm. All right, so that ah. Yeah, and yeah, we got, we're, we're right next to some wetlands. Yeah. So they come in. Have you considered coating the wetlands in oil? 
Mm, no, I don't think the native um, bird life would like that. Mm. They're not eating enough mozzies, so eh, are they really doing their jobs? So, Chris, um, as you're reading the paper, give me an evidence analysis roll at half. Bumble. <laughs> the uh, uh, beastkin, as they call themselves, or furries, as you call them, are the most upright, honest, uh, hardworking, industrious uh, peoples uh, you've ever heard of. Oh, they excellent. are progression pushing forward type people, yes. Well, actually, that, that was something so um, I've seen mixed species marriages where the kids were either of the one or one parent or the other. It's not like a blend. And also, oh, wow. sorry. La, la, la. He took a shit on the floor of his cage where there's no newspaper and they begin singing. Oh, okay. <laughs> and also, um, there needs to be a equality with the sexes. Um, like the military and whatnot, uh, yeah, both male and female. So, la, 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 gender, the bird shrieks, discrimination going on here. The bird shrieks, la, 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 at the top of his lungs several times. You're not sure what's wrong with him. It smears the shit, and the bird starts hopping around like really aggravated. I put more on top of it, so they can't see it's it. It's still much. there. It's still there. It's still there. La, oh la, 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 la. It out. Is it? Is there a pull? Is there a pull cord in this room? Yes. I'll pull the cord. It shows one of the maids, like, uh, on an upper floor, and there's a cord attached to her legs. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, eventually the maids come in. Yes, sir? Um, could I get a damp cloth to clean up a mess, please? Oh, no, sir. Where's the mess, please? In the bird cage. cage. Oh, we'll take care of it. And the bird goes, ah! <laughs> He's freaked out. <laughs> He gets out of the cage and goes and hides over um, on the desk, your host's desk, the fancy mm -hmm. looking one over there with all the shiny brass and stuff. And yeah, the birds like don't. trembling and shit. Yeah. The maid's coming over with a cloth toward the cage and he's just shaking and watching. <laughs> He's getting more freaked out. More freaked out. Mm -hmm. By the boots of buzzing boots, the bird gobbles. So, is Puss in Boots a real person or a folk fairy tale? They're all real. They're all real. La, 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 la. The mate's quickly cleaning out the cage and keeping an eye on the bird who is just all of his feathers are ruffled out. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. I'll get some fresh newspaper. After the fresh newspaper is put in and they go away, he calms down and gets back in the cage. He's like, oh, I'll never get out of the cage. Never get out of the cage. Never get out of the cage. Okay. <laughs> Close the door. Close the door. Sure. There you go. <laughs> you want to cover over the cage too? Okay. Hmm, I was thinking exact same thing. Okay. See what you should do is you should get a cover that has like the sky and the sun and some clouds on it so that way. It will be a cover. It won't be real. La, la, la. So that way mm. you can see what the outside would look like, but it's not the outside. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. La? Maybe. La? Maybe. The bird just kind of hops back and forth and, and, and like it's pacing. Apparently, his bird psychology skill is paying off. <laughs> of course, you'd have to have such a cloth made as they normally aren't the right size to show those things and stuff, but yeah, 
Great. I'm sure, we can get a seamstress or a maid or something to. Oh uh, yeah, something you like could probably be like two dollars or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you have change for a fucking double gold piece, bitch. Yeah. I've never seen that much money before. <laughs> About this bar of gold, is that easier to coach? Anyway, so uh, the the birds calm down because you've covered the cage with some handy bit of cloth and stuff, and you you hear them in there going. Oh, hey, man, I that was here. All right. Eventually, you hear them snoring softly. Have a flick through the fake tales of Genovia book just to get an idea of what they're about. I'm not going to, you know, like read them in depth at the moment. I'm just more just to. Pretty pictures. You know, Got it. Uh, yeah, yeah. It and appears. The topics and whatnot just to get an idea. It appears that they managed to, uh, according to the, the book, things used to exist like fantastical creatures and stuff, and then they got killed off, and science began to push forward in the magic and monsters and shit went away because science and uh these guys are really really into their fucking science between the the, the two books that you've had a glance through it seems like um they 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 definitely prefer um their technology to science and stuff okay and used it to exterminate the fuck out of you know <laughs> Uh, the air stuff. Hmm. From under the cover of the cage, you're fuck you, Marion. Okay. <laughs> How the fuck is the bird snoring? You think it has a beak? It's probably heard other people snore so much that it just reproduces the noise. Yeah, it makes it feel better about life. I don't know. Yeah, it, it apparently doesn't like somebody named Marion who occasionally swears at in its sleep. Old owner, perhaps. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. didn't treat it. Didn't treat him as nice. Uh, Pete, give me a memory roll. Where is that skill? You forget. No. I couldn't remember what the name that. of the customs inspector was. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's so. what I'm sure it meant, but I just couldn't remember. Like, I remember. I didn't <laughs> note it down at the time. And Well, that's remember. because I've been doing a massive <laughs> info dump exactly on right. <laughs> Exactly right. I've got bits and pieces of it down, but not everything. Oh, what, yeah. Where's so I'll just go and quiz people or look into it later. I love being um, able to, to confuse the players occasionally with just sheer volumes of information. So at the moment, I think I'm just going to relax in my pain of having been shot earlier. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're you're not sure how the uh, healing works or doesn't work for you, but exactly. Um, eventually, the the uh, a maid uh, knocks upon the door. You hear a rapping, as if a tapping, a tapping on your chamber door. And from under the cover, you hear "fuck off." <laughs> Enter. So, not nevermore. Uh, right, the maid comes in and curtsies. Uh, she has a cat head, and she says, "Excuse me, sir." Uh, dinner will be served in one hour if you'd like to prepare. Thank you. Um, is there a wash basin I could make use of? Right this way, sir. Thank you. Uh, they, she uh, takes you to your room where they've set up like a wash basin. They're going to basically then they're going to boil water, get hot water. Uh, she says, "Where are your bags with your evening suit?" Uh, unfortunately, we lost m most of our luggage. One moment. She scurries away. Oh, she scurries back. Did the other Australian also lose his thing, sir? I believe so, yes. I'm He's pretty sure he has no dinnerware in the meager possessions we managed to 
many that we managed to keep and survive our right, endeavors. Gone, she's gone. As soon as you said, I think so, she's gone. You're yes, just that's right. That no problem. They, they, they bring in stuff to get you cleaned up, and then they bring in a tailor who, mm -hmm. unfortunately, this guy doesn't have enough money to bring out tailors. Fortunately, for both of you to get brand new clothes, tailor made in a rush on the spot. Don't flex too hard. There's still a lot of it being held together with pins as opposed to stitching. Awkward, but at least you'll look the part uh, for uh, your just for your evening dinner where it'll be like ten dollars for the both of your suits. They're they're not yeah, like, right. oh my god, but you know yeah, they're I'll very nice. Cross that off. No problem. Yep. Uh, the the tailor says. Would you like uh, a full range of gentlemen's attire, sir? Yes, thank you. He's he's got a beaver head. He goes very good. Um, Doc, did you want a full range of gentlemen's attire? Um, sure. Mark yeah. off uh, one hundred dollars each. This includes. Yeah. I'll, I'll cover belly. it. I've got the. I'll cover Everything. it, Doc, because I've got the money oh. off the princess. So. Okay. Um, well, he will deliver to the house uh, a bit quicker than you're wearing it because it's all going to be handmade uh, yeah. clothes, and etc. But yep. uh, you barely get washed up and clothed for dinner, which in this time period at this place, it's all fucking fancy. So give me etiquette rolls as you are now supping with uh, Simon, who is much cleaned up and had his horns shined. Correct. Is there a Mrs. Jesus. Simon? Is there what? A Mrs. Simon. No. No, I'm afraid not. Uh, it, Very it, impressed it, with the uh, uh, other Australians. Uh, uh, never I have not created. Excellent. Wow. Uh, you, you guys are like... Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much... The dinner is a smashing success. Simon's he's, he's, like, wow. <laughs> Who are these two strange people that massacred the uh, people that were trying to kill me and did all this other stuff? And yes. And know the correct order of the spoons, etc. Yes. yes. He's a bit, he's a bit like wowed by all this. I don't think his etiquette is as good as your guys's and you've never been here before. So um, yes, he, he um, has dispatched his badger miners and stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. Although partway through dinner, uh, give me a listen roll. You guys are talking about various things and stuff, and he has big plans for his mi newest mine. I make mine. You really, hear really nothing to hear. Uh, <laughs> Pete, you hear some uh, rattle of metal on metal outside it sounds like somebody sneaky is doing something outside um if, as in the immediate door into here or a bit further outside type thing uh they may be no. eavesdropping through a window if you were to go over and open the window and stick your head out you could probably see around to them oh okay yep i'll do that you see a raccoon-headed guy going through the garbage. When he sees you, he goes, <laughs> runs off. Damn trash pandas. <laughs> there was a raccoon in your garbage. God damn trash pandas. <laughs> <laughs> more, more wine. <laughs> Yeah, yes. once once dinner is well, I'm assuming because of the servants, etc. We're not mm -hmm. no, discussing totally, matters it, at the table. It, you guys eventually go to the library, uh, where you hear <laughs> from the cage <laughs> as he startles awake. <laughs> um, um, and you're in there having brandy and cigars, and that's the first time that you're able to speak in private and stuff because he sends away the servants to do their other stuff. Okay, first things first, Simon. You're like the lycanthropy. Um, oh, that's going to be kicking in pretty soon. Yes, yes. But more importantly, what's the legalities, I suppose? For oh, the they would kill me for sure if they ever found out my new horrible secret. Okay, so it's anybody with that gets some um, lycanthropy is killed, are they? 
Yes, he goes over and takes down the book about the uh, legends of uh, the thing and shows you a you know, bunch of guys shooting a werewolf in one of the pictures. He goes, ah. Okay. There's Chris, no known cure. Um, if there is, I do not know about it. If you find one, then yes. I will freak out. Well, if magic is so prevalent here, why wouldn't someone have tried to make a cure for it? Yeah, well, exactly. Magic, magic isn't really that prevalent here. I mean, there's a few uh, people. I think the the the, the ah, you hear from under the covered uh, thing. He goes, hmm. um, like I, I believe that they haven't. Nobody is in the town with the right spell. I, the the elves uh, they call it ancestor worship. We call it necromancy. Um, mm -hmm. the, the, uh, I've heard about a fire, the fire salamander, of course, he does fire magic. Ah, you yeah. Um, there's also air magic that the word uh, I assume knows a bit about. Hmm. Wow. Well, um, and the, the goblins at the bar, uh, uh, what is it called? Is it the boneyard? I'm not sure. Um, they, they do, uh, earth magic, I believe. Okay. So. They have they have stone golems there that um, I, I've heard if you are uh, uh, disrespectful in the bar may uh, turn okay. you into paste. So the magic is elemental based, the, the elements. Mm. Well, they, they're, they're, there may be other kinds, but I don't know about them personally. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I would, previously would have had to deal with or look into, so. No, we're we're I'm a I I I'm a minor, you know. I used to yep. be a, a minor, but now I uh, I'm owning a, a mine, and I just it was a very small mine, but it was enough to get the house and servants in order. But now we've got between us. Don't tell the fucking elves. It's an iron mine, and they hate that. And if they found the badgers, then that that could create problems. But there's a huge demand for iron here. Yes, it certainly looks that way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Iron makes well, cannons. I it's something we like look into anyway. Um, oh, yeah. Well, there's, a, there's a lot of... I, I've heard that there's a lot of magic and stuff here, but it's kind of hidden and stuff. I do recommend keep away from the lights, though. Oh. The Those those glowing red-colored guys? Yeah, yeah, the brown brown ones. They, they kind of look like Australians, but they're shorter and browner. Oh, yes, yes, them, yes. yes. Why is that? Uh, well, aside from them keeping slaves, and the only pre if their slaves ever get out of the arcology, then, you know, by our law, because we don't like slaves, we think that's mm -hmm. wrong, then they're free. So it's... Um, but why yeah. keep away from them? I, I, they're bad. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, well, actually, you guys are super tough, so you can... Can we take this conversation downstairs, maybe? Yeah, I if you I feel want. like maybe I should get in the cage yes, now, because yes, I'm starting to feel odd. Mm -hmm. Got two. He's locked up in a cage. You guys have the key, soundproofing and stuff. Um, he says, well, I hope this works. Did you put a hook in the wall to hang your clothes on? Shit. He began stripping and handing you his clothes. He completely forgot about that. That way you got some clothes there to get put back on. Okay. Without, and you're not going to destroy him when you change. I did not think of that, he says. Mm -hmm. Um. You guys want to hang out with him and make sure that the cage thing works? or? Yeah. Yes, Chris? Sounds like a good idea. Are you paying attention um, to something other than me and the sound of my melodic voice, Chris? No, I'm writing. Ooh. Right. Both of you give me sanity rolls as you get to watch a fucking rhino turn into a wolf. Oh, 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 oh. You can feel your brains leaking out. Oh. 
I got it. So is that just one point or? Yep, one point toward uh, lycanthropy. 